What's up everyone, this is Christy with Brown Girl Green. I'm sure many people are aware about that huge climate report that came out a few weeks ago, the IPCC or Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report. It had a lot of urgent, scary news about the need to fight and act on climate. That means that we can't live in a world anymore that is extracting and polluting and destroying the places that we love the most. And I think that the first step to doing that is listening to the earth. So I really want people to recognize that a lot of us live in really fast-paced, urbanized, disconnected lives and worlds that makes us feel like we are separate from nature or this quote-unquote environment. When in fact, the systems and the ecosystems um, that we consider the quote-unquote environment is the whole reason that we're even able to power the world that we live in today. And I think that people are so separated from that, they're spending most of their time indoors, they are not recognizing the impact that has on their bodies and their minds, and overall their own impression on why the environment is so important to take care of. And so I encourage you to listen to the earth, listen to the sounds and nature around you, uh, the trees, the water, the birds. Track those noises, journal how it makes you feel, and actually be able to tap into that, even if you're in a city. Even if you're in a national park, Either way, whatever environment you're in, really change your senses to become more attuned towards that. I believe that it can start shifting hearts and minds towards recognizing that the earth and this quote-unquote natural environment is so deeply interconnected with us. And to think that we're separate from it is exactly what led us into the mess of destroying it in the first place, and in the process, destroying ourselves too. And so I recommend being able to do everything that you can, join local environmental justice organizations, support groups like Earth Justice, which is a group of lawyers who are actively actually fighting on behalf of the natural environment and take on cases that promote the preservation and the sanctity of the natural environment. And all it takes is five to 10 minutes of a daily practice, whether that be listening to birds in your area and tracking that, tracking the sounds of wind, of leaves, uh, trying to track little critters in your area, um, or even actually going to a forest or somewhere more remote where you can actually uh, cultivate that relationship and understand what that means to you in the long term. Even with all of these mentions of technological shifts and policy changes, at the end of the day, if humans are not able to understand our relationship with the natural world and what we're doing to it, and also how it inherently is going to come back to us, if we don't really tap into that, it's going to be really difficult to implement um, those actions and to make people care in the long term. So we need to get back to basics and, and we need to tap into that and share it with our friends and family.